Ukraine is in the early stages of its most ambitious counterattack since Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022 and says it has recaptured eight villages, its first major gain on the battlefield in seven months. But Russia still holds swaths of territory in eastern and southern Ukraine, and Ukrainian troops have not pushed through to the main line of defense Russia has had to prepare for months. Each side says the other has suffered heavy losses since Ukraine began its counteroffensive, and Russia has not acknowledged Ukraine's recent military gains. Fighting was especially fierce in the Kupiansk and Lyman directions, but the Ukrainian army managed to stop the enemy there. Ukrainian troops have recaptured 130 square kilometers in the south since the start of the long-anticipated Kyiv counteroffensive. Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malyar said early June 26, amid an escalation of Russian offensives in the eastern Donetsk region after a chaotic weekend in Russia sparked by brief uprising of the head of the mercenaries Yevgeny Prigozhin. Video footage shows cannons of the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces destroying five BM-21 Grad rocket salvo systems of the Russian occupiers at firing positions. Their operators located two Prad targets in the woods and three more near a road bridge and adjusted classic artillery fire to hit them. In the latter case, after burning, one MLRS begins to launch its shells automatically. Another video shows soldiers of the Ukrainian armed forces destroying a platoon of Russian invader tanks in the Kurdyumifa area near Bakhmut in one day. Three enemy tanks destroyed by FPV drones. It happened on June 23. The information was announced the next day. We must add that the fighters of the 3rd Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine managed to clear the banks of the Siversky Donets, the Donbass Canal near Bakhmut defeating the 3rd Battalion of the 57th Guards Motorized Rifle Brigade of the Russian Federation. Ukraine has liberated areas it had occupied since 2014 when it launched a series of offensive operations amid chaos behind enemy lines. Ukrainian defense officials confirmed their troops had recaptured an area near Krasnohorivka, southwest of Donetsk in Ukraine's far east following a well-prepared offensive. The reported victory came as the Ukrainians continued to take advantage of the chaos within Russia caused by Yevgeny Prigozhin's troops abandoning their positions to march on Moscow. On the other hand, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed another 240mm self-propelled Mortar II C4 Tulip from the Russian invaders, stationed in a firing position in a ravine or small mine. People's deputy, Frontline volunteer and blogger Yuri Meshigin announced this on his page on the social network Twitter, published a related video recorded by an unmanned aerial vehicle. Apparently, its operator found a fat target and adjusted an accurate shot on it. But from what weapon, it is not clear. We see Tulip first smoking, and then exploding with all its might, blown up by its own giant mine. Even the Ukrainian armed forces discovered and destroyed a large convoy of vehicles supporting the Russian occupiers near the occupied village of Novohorivka, Tokmak district, Zaporizhia region. Operator Ogo finds a fat target, up to a dozen cars, standing under a forest path near the highway, and adjusts classic artillery fire. Judging by the characteristic black and very massive smoke, at least three gas stations were destroyed. Other cars were damaged. According to DeepStateMap.Live, Novohorivka was 14 kilometers from the nearest front line. This is not the closest rear of the interveners. For several weeks, Ukrainian forces have launched counteroffensive operations. But in recent days, they have reorganized and refined their tactics before launching an offensive on three main fronts in southern and eastern Ukraine according to the latest UK Defense Intelligence update. Yevgeny Prigozhin's coup attempt yesterday appeared to hasten Ukraine's counterattack, with several new operations reported since the warlord declared his uprising late on Friday.
The general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on June 26 that Russia had lost 225,580 soldiers in Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 950 casualties suffered by Russian forces over the past few days. President Volodymyr Zelensky told the BBC that progress on the battlefield was slower than one would like, adding that the military campaign was not a movie. Some people believe this was a Hollywood movie and were expecting the results now. It wasn't, he said. Meanwhile, Russia said Ukrainian forces in eastern and southern Ukraine were temporarily limiting their efforts after launching a highly anticipated counteroffensive two weeks ago. Russian mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin accused Russian military leaders of lying to President Vladimir Putin and the Russian people about the extent of Russian losses and setbacks in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has acknowledged that progress so far has been slow but said his troops were advancing cautiously into the mine-heavy and well-defended areas to minimize losses. Russia launched an offensive in populated areas of Ukraine on Thursday destroying infrastructure and causing civilian suffering, according to the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Russian troops carried out 44 airstrikes and fired about 30 multiple launch rocket systems over the past few days the general staff said. Russia launched an offensive in populated areas of Ukraine on Thursday destroying infrastructure and causing civilian suffering, according to the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The general staffs said Russia launched 44 airstrikes and fired about 30 multiple launch rocket systems over the past few days. In the south, Russia continued to remain on the defensive focusing its main efforts on preventing advances by Ukrainian troops in Zaporizhia and Kherson, the military said. <laughs>